today we are going to discuss some other topics in unit 2 that is diagrams so representing the relations using the diagrams diagrams is a is a important topic so diagraph means uh, it consists of uh, edges and uh, vertices so the definition is a directed graph directed graph means it has directions that means it has arrows or diagraph consists of set of v vertices v is called as vertices or simply we can call it like nodes together with a set of edges that means e means edges or simply we can called as arcs so with the ordered pairs of elements of v called as edges or arcs so a directed graph a directed graph which consists of a set of vertices and edges is called as a diagram the vertex a is called as internal vertex of a edge a and the vertex b is called as terminal vertex of the edge so we use we can use arrows to display the graphs also so here this is about the diagram so diagram means a directed graph a directed graph in the sense it has directions that means it has arrows so this is the diagram representation representing the relations using the diagram here he has given an example he has asked to display the diagram with what is as v equal to he has given v equal to abc that means he has given four elements and e equal to ab and he has given the values ab ad bb bd ca cb and b if he will give some vertices and he will ask one condition also by the condition we can draw the diagram so similarly here we are having four variables that is a b c d so we can plot a b c d wherever we want see here i am plotting a b c d or simply i can draw a line also by help of a line also we can draw the diagram so anything we can draw we, we can draw with uh, a simply a straight line also we can draw or simply like this also we can draw so here i am taking a b c d a b c d so now first of all i have to point a b c d these are nodes i am pointing the nodes or what is c here first a b a to b i am drawing a line a to b arrow directed line next a to d a to d next b to b b to b is called as a self loop it is called as a self loop next b to d here b to d b to d next c to a c to a next c to b c to b next d to b here d to so now this becomes a diagram so diagram can no, can be written like this also or simply by the help of a line also we can draw a diagram only that we have to point the values and we have to simply write the directions here directions are very very important so this is about the diagram an edge of a form bb is called as a loop here it is bb means it is called as a loop so this is about the diagrams now coset this is very very important definition and it is used and it is given many times in the examination now coset means it is also called as partial ordered set or coset or ordered set the definition is partial order is denoted by the symbol less than or equal to here it is denoted by the symbol less than or equal to if less than or equal to is a partial ordering p then the order pair p less than or equal to is called as partial order set or simply a coset so simply a coset means here the symbol is less than or equal coset means we already know that coset means it is rat 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 in the sense r means reflexive a means anti symmetric and t means transitive so coset means it must satisfies the reflexive property anti symmetric property and transitive property so here partial order is uh, always denoted by the symbol less than or equal to so if less than or equal to is a partial ordering then the order pair p less than or equal to is called as a partial ordered set so here it is rat rat means reflexive anti symmetric and transitive properties it must satisfies these properties now hasse diagram this is a long answer question it is very very important and it is easy to draw the hasse diagram means the graphical representation of a partial order relation in which all arrow heads are understood to be pointing upwards is called as hasse diagram or coset diagram here we can take off here we are having some rules to draw the hasse diagram uh, by taking down the arrows 
by seeing by removing the uh, reflexive property by removing the transitive property by removing the arrows by removing this we get a acid diagram so now we see the some of the conditions to draw a acid diagram so procedure to draw a acid diagram first of all construct the diagram diagram for the given partial ordering relation we have to construct the diagram since the relation is reflexive we already know that poset means uh, it is rat rat means it is reflexive reflexive anti symmetric and transitive since the relation is reflexive then eliminate the self loop so we have to eliminate the self loops since the relation is transitive so we have to eliminate the transitive edges also why because it is a poset poset means uh, rat 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 means reflexive anti symmetric and transitive property Next, eliminate the arrow heads. We have to eliminate the arrow heads. So these are the procedure to draw the acid diagram. So the procedure is we already know that poset means it is having the three conditions R A T R A T in the sense R means reflexive, anti symmetric, and transitive. First of all, here we have to construct the diagram for the given partial ordering relation. And in the next case, we have the relation is reflexive. We know that it is reflexive. so we have to eliminate the self loops and since it is a transitive property since it satisfies the transitive we have to eliminate the transitive edges and at last we have to eliminate the arrow heads also then we get the acid diagram now we see in a problem see here he has given a problem let x equal to 2 3 6 12 24 36 36 and less than or equal to already we know that less than or equal to means it is a poset be a relation such that x is related to y x divides y draw the hasse diagram of x less than or equal to so the diagram simply it is uh, it looks like this see we see whether uh, how it uh, works see first i have taken given x equal to 2 3 6 12 24 36 and first of all i have taken the values next he has given that condition is less than or equal to it is less than or equal to here is given x divides y x divides y that means remainder we have to get zero so first of all i have written that given x equal to 2 3 6 12 24 36 36 36 now he has given that x divides y and x less than or equal to condition is x less than or equal to and x divides y suppose if i have taken 2 then 2 must divide the sum values if i have taken 3 then 3 must divide some values if i have taken 6 then 6 must divide some value similarly 12 24 and 36 so first of all we have to uh, write the relation r based on the condition x divides y and less than or equal to we have to put in the mind that it is less than or equal to also so r equal to first i am taking 2 so 2 here the condition is x divides y divides means uh, remainder must be 2 and less than or equal also it is there less than or equal also so we get the values 2 comma 2 22 remainder 0 2 3 no it will not come remainder will not come become 0 2 6 yes 2 6 and 2 12 yes 2 12 we get remainder 0 2 24 yes we get remainder 0 2 36 we get remainder 0 so x divides y means first of all i am taking 2 and seeing whether the i am checking whether x divides y or not and less than or equal also is there so i am taking 2 to also so x divides y that means 2 divides 2 2 divides 6 2 divides 12 2 divides 24 and 2 divides 6 similarly now i see 3 so 3 divides 3 3 divides 3 and less than or equal also here say 3 divides 3 3 divides 6 3 divides 12 3 divides 24 and 3 divides 6 that means we get the remainder of 0 next similarly next value is 6 that means 6 divides 6 we get remainder 0 6 divides 12 6 divides 24 and 6 divides 36 next 12 that means 12 divides 12 12 divides 24 12 2 is 24 12 divides 36 12 3 is 36 so 12 divides 12 12 divides 24 and 12 divides 36 next 24 24 is divided by 24 we get the remainder 0 next that is only one case we if we take 24 36 we will not get the remainder of 0 now 36 is also having oc only one case that is 36 comma 36 our condition is less than or equal to and x divides y so these are the conditions so these are the values of the relation so first of all we have to see that 
first condition of a hasse diagram is we have to remove all the self loops that means we have to remove the reflexive here we are having a reflexive means 2 2 we have to remove 2 2 we have to remove 3 3 we have to remove 6 6 we have to remove 12 12 we have to remove 24 24 we have to remove 36 36 so why because uh, since it is reflexive reflexive means uh, removing all the loops reflexive means we already know x is related to x 2 is related to 2 3 is related to 3 x is 6 is related to 6 12 is related to 12 24 is related to 24 36 is related to 30 so the first condition is a reflexive so we have to remove all the loops next remove the transitivity next we have to remove all the transitivity why because it is a poset poset means a reflexive anti symmetric and transitive that is rat so we have to remove all the transitivity we have to check each and every element and we have to remove the transitivity remove all the arrows then we get the hasse diagram so we get the hasse diagram like this this is the hasse diagram here by day doing that conditions i have a hasse diagram 2 3 2 6 divide 6 3 divide 6 6 divide 12 12 divide 24 and 12 divide 36 at last i will get this hasse diagram so this is the hasse diagram for the given problem so like this only we cannot draw the hasse diagram simply we can draw uh, by using a line also by taking a line also we can draw a hasse diagram so we have to put in a mind that the poset we have to satisfy the rat that is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive property and we have to check the three conditions number one is reflexive so we have to remove the reflexivity we have to remove the transitivity we have to remove all the arrows then we get the hasse diagram as follows and we have to check the condition also x divides y and it is less than or equal to so here i am having 2 first i am taking 2 2 divide 6 and 3 divide 6 6 divides 12 12 divides 24 and 12 divides 36 at last i will get the hasse diagram as follows this is very very important problem he has given many times in the examination also next i am taking another example given x equal to 2 3 6 12 24 36 x divides i have already done this this is the another problem let a equal to 2 4 8 16 32 he has given the values and less than or equal to be the relation already less than or equal to me four set means uh, less than or equal to and divisibility and draw the hasse diagram he has asked and he has given the values so the hasse diagram is this first of all 2 4 8 16 32 we have to follow the uh, four conditions that is number one is uh, we have to check the poset that means rat that means reflexive anti symmetric and transitive first of all we have to remove the reflexive why because it is a poset next uh, transitivity next we have to remove the self loops any self loops are there we have to remove and we have to remove the arrows also at last we get the hasse diagram as follows this is the hasse diagram for the given problem so simple diagram i am taking a simple diagram let a be a set of divisors of 32 ordered by divisibility that means a equal to 1 2 4 8 16 32 30. now by following the rules of a hasse diagram i have a hasse diagram as 1 2 4 8 16 30 30. 30 by removing all the reflexivity by removing all the self loops by removing the transitivity and by removing the arrows i get an hasse diagram like this so this is the about the hasse diagram so this is about the hasse diagram it is very easy to understand and it is very easy to draw the main conditions we have to put in a mind that in drawing a hasse diagram number one first we have to see that reflexive property that means we must not have the self loops that means 2 2 3 3 4 4 like that and the next condition is uh, transitivity we have to check the transitivity